in support of families. This is Emily Penrod. My guest today is Jessica Harper, the owner and founder of Aspen Valley Counseling. Jessica, welcome. Thanks. I'm glad to be here. And I appreciate Jessica's time. She's in the middle of her superhero training camp for elementary age children. Jessica, how's that going? It's going great. We've had a really good turnout for camp um, that are really wanting to get their kids back into the swing of things. And so we're really focusing on helping the kids learn emotional regulation skills and also how to make and keep friends. So there's been a good response this time. And this camp is geared specifically for students with ADHD and high-functioning autism, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, for, for kids struggling with ADHD and um, ADD, so whether or not they have the hyperactivity or just the inattention, we work with both of them, and then also higher-functioning autism. And this is just part of your, the services offered to your clinic. I understand you also use neurofeedback. Yeah, neurofeedback has been a terrific technology to be able to bring into my office to assist not only kids and adults that struggle with ADHD and autism, but it helps with so many other um, issues uh, like depression and anxiety, PTSD, sleep problems, and traumatic brain injury. But you know, our our brain is the master controller of of us, and so neurofeedback helps the brain function better. And when the brain is working in the way it's supposed to, then we just feel better, and uh, things in our life don't seem as difficult as they were previously. Well, that's true. I, I've heard that neurofeedback can be quite effective. Have you seen a success rate in your practice? The success rate has been remarkable. Most people respond really well to neurofeedback. Um, there are some uh, issues that it works better or quicker with than others. So definitely like the depression and anxiety, ADHD, uh, PTSD, insomnia, those types of things respond um, pretty well to neurofeedback. Some of the other issues like concussions or traumatic brain injuries, those can take a little bit longer to respond to, but I have seen success with those as well. So in fact, I'll tell you one of my favorite success stories from somebody who had a traumatic brain injury was in an accident and had lost the sense of taste and smell. And after they came and had done quite a few, they had done like 60 plus neurofeedback sessions. But while on a vacation in um, Florida, I received a text from this person letting me know that they were able to smell the ocean and taste fish. And they hadn't been able to, you know, smell the ocean in, well, since before their accident. So that was a really exciting feedback that I got from, from that particular client. Um, I love hearing from my clients uh, that they don't have panic attacks anymore and that they can sleep at night and not have nightmares. And a lot of clients are able to go off medications and function uh, very well after completing neurofeedback. So it's, it's exciting to hear the progress that people make with neurofeedback. Well, I, I know that sleep problems are a big issue with children with ADHD and their, you know, their parents just, how do I get this child to sleep? So that sounds very beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. And the, one of the benefits for kids with ADHD is they get to feel what it's like when they're in the zone. So when they're focused and alert and attentive, um, they can feel it and it feels different to them than obviously when they're struggling to stay focused. And so neurofeedback teaches them how to get in the zone and what that feels like. And they're able to um, integrate that into their life outside of the training arena. Well, that sounds much more effective than adults describing to them what they should be thinking and feeling, if they can actually experience and Neurofeedback allows them to experience what it's like to be in the zone, to be focused. 
Yeah. Yeah. It trains their brain to do that. So they, they experience what it feels like and their brain learns how to do it and they're able to adapt. It, our brains are amazing at adapting and changing to the situation. It just needs to learn how to do it. And with neurofeedback, the brain is teaching itself. I'm not putting anything into the brain to change the way that it's working. There's no medications. There's you know, no um, electrical stimulation of the brain. It is just receiving feedback from itself and learning how to self-correct. And that sounds like it's being very successful. So in addition to the neural feedback, you're also teaching the social skills. And I know that's a huge issue for students. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the social skills, we're teaching them how to regulate their emotions, uh, how to identify what the triggers are for their emotional responses, but then also, yeah, how, how do they affect the world around them um, when they're struggling to regulate their emotions? How do their friends or the other kids in their class, how does that affect them? But then also just how to talk to people, how to engage in socially appropriate ways with other kids and with teachers um, so that they know how to do things differently. I know the importance of that in the students I've worked with, just being able to interact with their peers and the world around them really opens doors for them. Well, not only makes life much more enjoyable and pleasant when you learn how to make friends. Yeah, so it's such an important skill, life skill, that we learn at such an early age. One of the benefits of doing the skills training in a group is they get to practice with other kids their age, and um, they don't feel like there's something wrong with them because everybody that's coming to group is somebody that is struggling in something very similar. So it's been really easy for the kids to identify, like, these are the things that I'm always getting in trouble at school for, like talking too much, or I'm, I, they tell me I don't focus, um, or I don't sit in my seat, you know, kind of thing. And other kids are like, yeah, me too. So they don't feel like they're singled out in the bad kid. We help them identify problem areas with ADHD, like talking too much, how that can actually become a benefit for them. They just have to learn when and where to use that talking ability that they have that a lot of people don't have. Your clinic, um, you're the main therapist, but you also have a staff. Mm -hmm. and yes. You offer the neurofeedback, the social skills, and I, I understand you also provide some training for parents. Yes, we do um, consultations for parents. Um, if they are not quite sure how to manage behaviors at home with kids, um, how to be more involved in their IEP process. We do family counseling as well, and couples counseling, as well as individual counseling. So you're helping the entire, helping the entire family. Exactly, yeah. A lot of times, the other thing that I tend to see is that kids that are in homes with uh, another sibling that requires more attention. Um, some of the other kids tend to get left out and, and they start feeling, you know, resentful and, and upset that their sibling requires so much attention and they don't get mom or dad's attention. And so sometimes we'll start seeing uh, behavioral problems with other kids. And so parents quite often will bring either the whole family or the other kids as well for individual counseling so they can come and talk about what that's like for them to be in a family with a special needs uh, sibling. And I can see the value of having that outside perspective, you know, your background and training and experience, but also just that outside of the family perspective. It could be definitely see things differently when you're not right in the middle of yeah. it. <laughs> All right. So how do parents contact you if they want to make an appointment? I've got the link to your website on my page. Yep. They can definitely um, go to our, our web page. It has our contact information on there. We have a Facebook page. Um, Aspen Valley Counseling um, is our Facebook page. And then our phone number is um, 801 
901-901-8424. They can reach out with text messaging or emails at aspenvalleycounseling at gmail.com. We're more than happy to get back with them or, you know, schedule an appointment, consultation. We do free consultations for um, individuals and parents so that we can get them the services that they're looking for. And that's very helpful. A great resource for parents. That's wonderful, Jessica. Anything, yeah. any advice you have for parents? Just raising a child is challenging, but especially a child with special needs. It definitely is. My, my biggest advice would be do not neglect yourself. Um, Self-care when you are raising a special needs child is so important because if you are not doing the things that you need to do to recharge your batteries, you will be depleted and not be able to focus and give the attention and patience that you need to your children. So for that reason, a lot of parents, I recommend that they come and do neurofeedback because it is a, a nice break for them and um, helps them relax and and it's just a, a great way to take care of themselves as well. Well, that's good. I had not I had not heard that before. That that is very an interesting perspective. Yes, it would benefit the parents as well. It is super stressful to raise a, a special needs child. Um, it's stressful raising kids in general once they hit the teenage years too. Man, holy cow! So yeah, there's. <laughs> There's a lot of parents um, sometimes that I'll recommend that they do it at the same time their child is doing it because it helps the child have buy-in. They're not the problem child. It's something that, you know, it helps everybody and mom or dad can explain to them like it's helpful for me too. So I'm going also because it does work with so many different things. So they don't feel singled out, and it really helps the parents be able to stay calm, cool, and collected in high-stress situations so they can have the positive reactions that they need to when their child is having a meltdown. That is so true. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for your time and joining us, and I hope you have a great day. You bet. Thanks, Emily. Lou.